Hello, I'm Ben Woodruff with the Hutchings Museum, and today I want to talk about an amazing creature, the woolly rhinoceros. Here at the Hutchings Museum, we have the part of the jaw and teeth from an ancient prehistoric woolly rhinoceros. But the strange thing about this is this was found in America. Now, what is a rhino doing in America? Well, it turns out that rhinos belong to a taxon called Perissodactyla. Perissodactyla is the group of animals that include horses and zebras, rhinos, and tapirs. These ancient lineages all evolved in the New World and have spread out over time. But they also include other animals that didn't make it to our time, such as the Calicotherium. Calicotheres, again, are related to horses and zebras and tapirs, but they can only be described as like if you crossed a gorilla, a giant ground sloth, and a horse. These animals are so weird that we're gonna do a video later on just talking about them. But this is a branch off of this horse and, and rhino family tree that didn't make it all the way to our time, but they were successful for millions of years. But the ones that did make it to our time, again, are the rhinos, the horses and zebras, and the tapirs. Now these, again, started off in the New World in the Eocene, all the way back after the time of dinosaurs, but just barely and they at the time rep were represented by very small individuals like the largest uh, rhino of the eocene we see is trigonius trigonius was a rhino that um, was quite a bit different we don't believe it had a horn yet and it kind of had some tusks in front and it was only about the size of a large pig the at the same time the horses of this time period were quite small about the size of a dog but these lineages from the Eocene got bigger and bigger over time and branched out into their own ways. All of them have an odd number of toes. Maybe it's one, maybe it's three, maybe it's five, it doesn't matter. All of the members of this, of this taxon have an, an odd number of toes. And each one of these toes is a hoof. Now with a horse, they have one toe on each foot, and that is a hoof. And we look at it and we think of it as a hoof, and so we don't think anything different. But it is a toe, and it is a toenail that has evolved into a specialized hoof. It is the same thing with the other living members of this taxon. If you look at the toes of a tapir, each individual toe and nail looks like an individual horse hoof. And the same thing on rhinos, now that you understand that rhinos come from the same lineage as a horse, when you look at rhino toes, they look like fat, squat, uh, weight supporting uh, hooves and that's what they are. They were originally hooves all the way back during the Eocene and they've gotten bigger and wider as rhinos themselves have gotten bigger and wider. Well these these animals are fascinating and they lived for millions of years but the really interesting thing is some of the extinct members of this family such as the woolly rhinoceros made it all the way to the time that humans existed as well. In fact the woolly rhinoceros, both in Europe and Asia, as well as in North America, made it all the way into just a few thousand years ago. We have in caves in France, such as Chauvy Cave, we have beautiful cave art deep in the cave. We have cave paintings and cave sculptures carved into the walls of woolly rhinoceros. We have images of rhinos fighting, of rhinos running around, rhinos doing all kinds of things. People saw these animals and they knew them so well that they depicted them flawlessly. And it's fascinating to see that the bones that, that we have today, they're all that we have left. But living people like you and I, who lived a few thousand years ago, encountered these animals and depicted them on these cave walls. I think it's really interesting to get to know this family line. The Perissodactyla family tree including rhinos, tapirs, horses, and zebras, is all we have left of a rich, rich heritage that goes all the way back to the Eocene. It's going to be interesting to talk more about them in coming videos, but I hope you'll always, every time you look at a rhino now, you'll realize this is an animal that originated in America. Even though we associate it so much with Africa, this is an animal that was an American original.